With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss one question on logarithms. So here in this question, we need to find the number of ciphers or the number of zeros which exists between the decimal and before the first significant figure. So here we need to find the number of ciphers for this number. So here we are given the number, the 5 by 3 whole raised to the power minus 100. And here we are given the four options and we need to choose one among these four options. So here we are given this number. So let us assume that this number is equals to y. So here we assume that the y is equals to, here we have the 5 by 3 whole to the power minus 100 like this. Now for solving this, we are going to take the log to the base 10 on both sides. So here we are going to do one operation. We are going to take taking the logarithm to the base 10 on both sides of this equality. So if we do that, then here on the left hand side, we get the logarithm of y to the base 10. So here we have the logarithm of y to the base 10 like this and that would be equals to here we have the logarithm to the base 10 of what of 5 by 3 whole raised to the power minus 100 like this so this is what we have got from here now after this we are going to apply one property of logarithm we know that here the logarithm of a to the power b like this can be rewritten like the b times of the logarithm of a so let us say that if this is the equation 1 then by using this equation 1 this property we are going to write this right hand side so if we solve this then we get the logarithm of y to the base 10 and that would be equals to here we have the minus 100 times of the logarithm of 5 by 3 to the base 10 and here we have applied this property 1 now again we are going to use one more property we know that the logarithm of a by b can be rewritten like the logarithm of a minus the logarithm of b. So let us say that this is the equation 2. So by using this equation 2, by using this property on the right hand side, we are going to get here we have the logarithm of y to the base 10 and that would be equals to here we have the minus 100 times of and here we get the logarithm of 5 to the base 10 like this minus the logarithm of 3 to the base 10 like this so this is what we have got after using this property 2 now we are going to use the values of the log of 5 to the base 10 and the log of 3 to the base 10 so we know that the logarithm of 5 to the base 10 this value is equals to the 0 0.699 so this is equals to the 0 0.699 and along with this, we also know the value of the logarithm of 3 to the base 10. So the logarithm of 3 to the base 10 is equals to 0 0.477. So here we have the 0 0.477 like this. So let us say that this is the result 3. So by using this result 3 on this right hand side, we get here we have the logarithm of y to the base 10 like this. And that would be equals to here we have the minus 100 times of here we have the logarithm of 5 to the base 10 and that is 0. 699 like this minus the logarithm of 3 to the base 10 and the logarithm of 3 to the base 10 is 0 0.477 like this so now we are going to solve this further so if we solve this then on solving this we get the minus 100 times of here we have if we solve this subtraction then we get the 0 0.222 so on solving this we get the 0 0.222 like this and if we multiply it with minus 100 then we get the minus 22.2 like this so here we have got the value of the logo y to the base 10 is the minus 22.2 now in the question they were asking us to find the number of ciphers which exist between the first significant figure and after the decimal point so here we know that here we know that this minus sign which we are getting in this logarithm value denotes the number of ciphers between the first significant figure from the decimal point so here the negative sign the negative sign denotes it denotes the number of ciphers 
द नंबर ऑफ साइफर बिटवीन बिटवीन वॉट बिटवीन द फर्स्ट सिग्निफिकेंट डिजिट एंड आफ्टर द फर्स्ट आफ्टर द डेसीमल पॉइंट आफ्टर द डेसीमल पॉइंट सो हेयर वी हैव गॉट द माइनस ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट टू सो हेयर वी हैव द होल नंबर ट्वेंटी टू विद दिस नेगेटिव साइन सो वी कैन से दैट द लोगरिदम इन दिस लोगरिदम टर्म द होल नंबर विद दिस नेगेटिव साइन इज ट्वेंटी टू सो वी कैन से दैट ट्वेंटी टू इज द करेक्ट आंसर सो हेयर वी हैव गॉट द ट्वेंटी टू एज द नंबर ऑफ साइफर बिटवीन द फर्स्ट सिग्निफिकेंट डिजिट एंड आफ्टर द डेसीमल पॉइंट सो नाउ लेट एस चेक दैट विच ऑप्शन इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन सो हेयर वी आर गिवन द फोर ऑप्शन and in this four options we are given the option 2 as 22 so here we have the option 2 as the correct option so this is our solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today